Well, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to jump into a little bit of Infinite Warfare and just have a little update on the CWL Pro League. Um, it's been rocking for the past few weeks now, as, as you guys probably already know. Um, but last weekend we had the Yellow Group and uh, pretty much as expected, um, E United coming up on, out on top um, with a 5-1 map map win loss ratio so you can you can't grumble with that um a little bit of controversy at the end of it um obviously luminosity um beating e united um to take that second place from epsilon um i don't think so though i think e, e united went out for the win just luminosity just played wanted it a little bit more um and, and that's the way it goes sometimes uh, so unlucky for the eu side of things obviously i'm uk so i always pin my hopes on the eu side of things so it is a little bit gutting to see millennium go zero and six uh, didn't even get a win um it was a bit of a shocker from them to be honest i think they should have stuck with the infused name because millennium naming cod at the minute is cursed i think um but epsilon they had a good showing as well davy his stats were were phenomenal all weekend so you can't grumble um they've been looking good uh, just just falling short a little bit but it can only get better like i say the more practice they have against these big american teams uh, the better they're going to get so you cannot grumble at all um but we'll see them again in relegation and in um in uh, MLG uh, Anaheim in the next event so it's not too long until you get to see some of the big EU players again so um, we'll have to wait and see how they, how they get on over there again so happy days um, but yeah that was uh, the yellow group from last week um, this week uh, we're rocking over into the green group and uh, I think everybody knows who's going to top this group um, it's pretty much uh, a dead start that Optic will take that first seed uh, they look unbeatable at the minute they've taken a few land wins already this season so um, it's, it's only um, it's only looking forward to that CWL um, COD champs now. Uh, that's what Optic are looking for. Um, they're pretty much guaranteed to, to coast through this group. It's probably the weakest group, green group. Um, but we'll just have a quick little run through the teams. Um, obviously, we've got um, Optic and um, we've got a couple of EU teams as well. We've got Red Reserve and Elevate. Um, so, again, two teams from the EU. Hopefully, we can uh, at least get one into that playoffs because we've only got splice in there at the minute um i thought Fnatic would have done would have jumped in there but they probably had the group of death and it, they was just unlucky to to be honest that final day's play was super and early uh week two i think it was um but yeah jumping back over we've got um like i say uh elevate uh red reserve in uh and then we've got enigma six uh, another american team um, and I think everybody just thinks it's going to be Optic and Enigma 6, um, but I think Red Reserve are going to do things. Um, Red Reserve, it, I think it was Dallas or Vegas, beat um, Enigma 6, so they've proven that they can beat that squad. Um, obviously, I, I, doubt, I don't see them beating Optic. I think Optic will be the, with the first team and only team to go 6-0 and all weekend. Um, but other than that, it's, it's all about that second place. And like I say, I think Red Reserve are going to uh, sneak in. Um, I've got a funny feeling that they're just going to clutch up this weekend. Um, and, and again, like I say, it's, it's pinning hopes on, on, on one or two teams for the EU because obviously Splosh are already in the playoffs and they are the, the best team in, in Europe at the minute. So you can't grumble with that. The way they played on, on week one was uh, pretty gnarly, just losing out to, to Envy on that uh, first seed. So you can't grumble. Um, but like I say, um, I think we all think Elevate will just uh, pick up that fourth spot and end up going into relegation because even Reedy himself has said that they haven't had much practice and uh, not much scrimmage at all since uh, CWO Barman. Um And they are a bit of a tilt team. If they start losing, they will just keep on losing. But if they start out hot, then you never know. They could be dangerous. Nelson, he can slay with the best of them when he's on form. So um, you never know. Uh, like I say, it, it just depends on who turns up on the day, really. Um, but I think we all know that Optic will take that uh, first seed, so it's just battling for that second spot, really. And um, um, as times go, it's uh, usual times and usual places. We all know now. Um, it starts a little bit, a little bit later on the Friday, um, nine o'clock in the UK, and then seven o'clock Saturday and Sunday. Um, but Twitch and YouTube um, do do schedules as well for for day one. But it's all MLG TV for, for day two and day three. But if you if you do have infinite warfare it is a little bit better watching it on your ps um obviously mog tv does glitch out quite a lot it does lag out a little bit um but other than that it's uh, pretty decent and um yeah that's gonna about do it guys i'm starting to ramble on about shit now so um yeah we're gonna wrap it up and um hopefully uh, you enjoy a decent um weekend of cod i know there's uh, a lot of optic fans obviously the green wall is huge everyone loves it um, so I'm just uh, looking forward to some good cod. So yeah, cheers for watching guys. Leave a like if you do enjoy these videos and I'll catch you in the next one.
Peace.